Hello everyone, up there in the sky, uh, you may have noticed things look a bit different, that's because we are running triples once more as you can see, there's the side screen, and camera placement is always a bit of a nightmare with triples, um, there's no lighting, things are up in the air, the rig room's a mess, the backdrop's a little bit different, we've got my good lady Julie's rig sat behind us, that's quite a good rig that one actually, I'm quite excited to drive that myself. So you'll just have to bear with us. I had to reinstall Windows last night, so the overlay isn't quite where I want it to be. But we'll get there, so just bear with me. So we are here at Brands Hatch in the BMW Z4 for a VRS Sprint Race. Uh, just done this one, quite good fun. Didn't have any time to prepare, didn't qualify, usual story. So we're starting right at the back in P number 17. Strength of fields around about 2.5k, something like that. Anyway, let's get on track. The track temp is 19 Celsius, P17. Right, here we go. First race on the triples. Oh, first race on these new triples. On car number 16. I am massively underprepared. What? What's going on on the left hand side there? Oh dear. So yeah, massively underprepared. Didn't get any practice. Didn't get any qualifying. So we're starting right at the back. But that's alright, I'm happy with that. We'll just see what happens, get used to the triples, because it is different. I did some practice yesterday, but then I had some issues and I had to uh, reinstall Windows. So I've had to put everything on from scratch so the overlay probably won't be like it has been in recent times. But it will evolve once again and we'll get it back to where it was. Let me know what's missing. I don't know. Let me know what's missing. So that sun is absolutely blinding with the HDR on. Thankfully it's behind the trees there so it's not too much of an issue, although it looks like we're driving on Mars right now. So strength of field for this one, 2.4k. So it's going to be a tough one. Uh, I don't know what we can realistically expect from this. Maybe if we can get a top 10, I'd be more than happy with that. I've no idea if we're going to be an I rating gain or I rating loss. I don't know. I don't have that information on my screen. And you don't have it on yours either. It's always nice to find out at the end. And this camera isn't ideal either. So, but that's the downside with the triples. There's, there's nowhere on the side where you can put the, uh, the camera. You need to catch up to the guy ahead. Yes, I know, Jim. Nothing changes. Jim has been reinstalled, but he's still a pain in the backside. Right, here we go then. 40 minutes around Brands Hatch. Okay, here we go. A, a really, really tough track to overtake. But we'll do the best we possibly can, and we'll go in. So no doubt there'll be a sea of Audis. One done. What the fuck? We'll take it nice and easy. Get some heat into the old tyres. No, no panic. Try and avoid the inevitable carnage. Although if we can sneak up somewhere, then Car right. I will do so. He's still there. He's gone. <laughs> so we've got round there, just. Oh, smoke.
hopefully once we've got some heat into the tyres we can push on a little bit. Realistically, I don't know what kind of lap times we're going to be doing. No idea. get left behind if we don't get a shift on. Somebody's off ahead. He's got it back though. Just feel good to be back on the triples though. I'm enjoying it. Although it felt really weird at the beginning. It felt so strange. Guys, something to think about. Was top ten certainly. We'll catch up with this guy though. Sort my fuel out as well. Oh, you bloody bugger. Well, two and a half seconds to Ken. Take it. I will take it. P6. Top five could be on, you know.
We'd say we need 28 litres at the moment to finish the race. Uh, Ken's pulled away a bit there. Seem to pull a couple of cents back on in there on that last couple of turns. Okay, Dave, gaining on this car. The gap is 2.1 seconds. That was a 123. Get off there. Oh, oh. You are fucking cold, Stewards of Warfare's about track limits. Keep it between the lines. Really, I've never seen worse. Right, come on Dave, get your head down. That might have been a decent lap there if we hadn't have gone off. Pulling away from the guy in P7, thankfully. Oh. Need to improve. We're going to get the top five. This is where I'm going to gain, if anywhere. I've got to be brave around this back section. Yeah, I think we want to be around about 28 litres, I think. Ken's quicker on there though. Seem to lose a couple of tenths there and do something drastically wrong. a little bit better this lap. Bang. Thanks, buddy. Just need to get my head round that middle part.
from here onwards really. Especially this turn. That was better though. The pit window's open now. Under two seconds for the first time. Got a back marker. Better, better. Draft as well. Sorry I'm not talking a lot. I apologise. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> not easy. Brands is always mentally demanding because there's just there's just no break at all. There's no letter. Even the straights aren't straights. Curve. Alter, was rennst du so früh? That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. So früh brennt kein Mensch. Back state. Alright, we need to adjust the fuel again because it's changed. Or 26 litres, it looks like now. I suppose we could go for the undercut, I suppose, but. May as well use his draft for the lap or so. Marker. Nice bit of evening sunshine. I think it's evening, I presume it's evening.
So I think we'll maybe just try and put them under a little bit of pressure. What do you reckon? There's Mr. Zapex there. He's looking in the mirror. Miss mine there. The gap behind is now 5.1 seconds. Oh, that was bad. Come on, Ken. All right, Dave. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. That lap time was one twenty-three point five nine. Lap times have dropped off a little bit. close. I think we should go in the pits, I think. Ooh. Right, so we're going to put in 26. Put in 26 litres. Right, hopefully we can, we can get out without any traffic. Yes. Well, get our head down yeah, now for a couple of laps. So we were lapping a little bit slower behind him. I don't know whether we were just focusing on him too much or what. I don't know. Isn't that the guy that complains, complains on every, every stream? So it was Ken that we were behind, so... That's who we want to be overtaken in the pits. Not actually in the pits, obviously, but you know. When he pit stops, hopefully we can leapfrog him. We don't have to worry about. Eighth place. 
We just need to sort out this turn here. This is this is the one that's caused me problems. No worries, buddy. to be in the lowish 23s really so I think Ken was lapping yeah, late 23s so oh, I missed that apex by a mile so we're half a second quicker than Ken last time by Depends how much fuel he's going to put in though, I suppose. James, stay there, James, stay there, James. So Caps is telling me we're going to have a litre of fuel left at the end. Fingers crossed that it's correct. So I've had a few comments recently about why I've gone back to triples, so I'll just, I'll just answer those. Now, so I always said, whenever I've been asked, I always said that if all you do is sim race on your rig, then you can't beat triples. But I've always done something else with my rig. I haven't uh, had the luxury of having two computers and all the rest of it, so I've had to do everything on one rig. So, the ultra-wide, is an absolutely superb compromise. But now, as you can see, just over my shoulder here, there's another rig. So there's going to be another computer in the room. And that rig there is on a single screen, which makes editing and other gaming a little bit easier than it is on a triple. So all my work can be done on that, which means that this rig is for sim racing only. Hence, why I've gone for triples. Okay, Dave, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. What do we do? So, we same, same time as Ken last time by, so we need to stop talking for a lap or two and get my head down. Ken's in the pits. It's going to be close this, it's going to be close. Yeah, he's just coming out there. Sixth place. Got it done. Undercut perfectly executed. What do you reckon? So the strategy there, if you don't know, I'll just explain it. If you're behind somebody and you think there's a possibility or you think that you're quicker than those guys, then you don't want to be held up, especially somewhere like Brands where it's it's notoriously notoriously difficult to overtake. So you can pit before they do, not get caught up behind them, lap quicker for two or three laps until they pit, and then the time that you've gained, obviously they lose in the pits, which means that they come out behind, just as Ken has done there. So it's called the undercut. 
again, I'm pushing in now. Thanks, man. It's important now that we, we we don't lose momentum now. That we keep on top of it. Ah, oh, David. Because he's only 2.7 seconds behind me, so... He's catching though, Ken. This P5's definitely not a done deal. I know that much. <laughs> I just can't nail that corner at all, I'm struggling. The fuel might be a little tight though. Times haven't been too bad. We haven't been uh, a million miles away though from the front guys. Not been too far off. Okay, Dave. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Twenty-three point six four. Lap times are pretty consistent. So just under 10 minutes left now. Oh, I did it again. So tempting to use that bit on the outside there, but it can bite you in the backside that if you're not careful. So car number four, so we should gain some eye racing out of this one. We've only had one incident point, touch wood. But we should gain a little bit of safety rating as well, which is much needed. So the reason why I reformatted... I've had some issues for a while with things randomly disconnecting, and I think it's a USB issue. I think. But um, I jumped into a Porsche race last night at Le Mans. Uh, gridded up, ready to go and the pedals didn't work so thankfully I was right at the back or nearly at the back and there was only one guy that ploughed through me so uh, that was it that was that was the moment when I thought right come on Dave it's been it's been a while but what I realized when I reformatted was I had Windows 10 Pro installed so no wonder I was getting the uh, activate windows notification. I said in previous videos that I have bought windows <laughs> but I begrudged paying it again but I installed windows home and it's gone. I've got all um, 
everything back to how it was, the, the watermark's gone. So some of you will be pleased to know oh, that. Okay. Yeah man, no worries. Team, that's it, team. Hopefully we've pulled out a little bit of a gap on Ken now. But we're not catching the guys ahead though, unfortunately. Uh, they're not really close together either. They're all spread out, so I don't think there's any chance of any battling going on there. Where we could have maybe capitalised. I should really watch one of the VRS. Did my voice break then? <laughs> I should really watch one of the VRS tutorials for that turn there for this week and see what those guys are doing. I just can never seem to get it right, and I've never, I've never really struggled with that turn before until this week. So I don't know if it's specific to this this car that I've chosen this week. Which obviously is the BM, I don't normally drive this one. Quite enjoyed it though. So the field of view for you guys is probably a little bit closer than what it normally is, so... Um, but I've got the field of view set up correctly. For me, with the side screens obviously. So apologies, normally I like to show you the, uh, the instrument cluster and stuff like that. I think we're going to have enough fuel, let's say we're going to have a litre left at the end. I'll say that Steve and Eric are really close now. Unless I misread the timing. So, you never know. They might get up to some kind of shenanigans. That would be nice. See them? Oh no, that's a back marker, Brian. I got excited there for a second. Damn. Thankfully. Come on, Brian, do the right thing. When I get to you. That's five minutes of fuel left. Okay, Dave, that's 
That's good consistency. Keep it up. Left side. Thanks, Brian. Oh, again. That's my Achilles heel for certain. Steve and Eric have split up a bit now ahead. I don't think there'll be any battling from those guys, I don't think. Yeah, my problem. Just wheeling me in. Should be two more laps. Cheers, bro. So we got a bit lucky at the beginning. We managed to avoid a couple of uh, nasty wrecks. Thankfully, somehow. Thank you. Ah, these two ahead are close again. But you never know, you never know. Depends how scrappy Eric is, I guess. Last lap. can do is try and put ourselves in a position to capitalize if something does happen between those two. Will it? Two tenths between them. Hopefully the water wreck out. You gaining on this guy. Gaps now. 1.2 seconds. Two litres left. No, it's done in front. But I'll take that. First race of the triples. Top five. Happy it's days. Skips. Not a bad race oh, either. One instant point. Save. Really good. Yeah, you were a major heavy shit. Triple nervous in that one. <laughs> awesome. Enjoyed that? That was nice. Right. Let's have a look at the incidents. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the incidents. There was quite a few that we came across. This is obviously the outlap. Is he going to get clattered? No. Oh, little touch. Nothing there really. Until it gets punted. Did you get caught up in that? No, not quite.
Yeah, so this is right in front of us that we managed to just squeeze through there somehow. So did that guy. And you see us just squeeze through there, just. That's a seven. That's a punt. Thankfully the Audi went off as well though. Did you see him coming back on now? Did wait for him though. Dramas there. I don't think much happened apart from at the very beginning. Unless this is going to treat us. Fortunately not. Oh, he's gone though. Oh, car number three. Oh, and then he went off as well. Oh, blimey. So P3, P4. Right, that's what happened. Oh, then he went. Oh, then we just squeezed through. Crikey. Oh, they're going to kill somebody else now. What did I do? A little bit of curb. It's nothing. So we were definitely gifted a couple of positions there. Is he touching the grass? Yes. Easy done there, easy done. Nice paint. That was P5 as well. Oh, send and a half. Goodbye. <laughs> Car number three, come on. That was a send. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, 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 yeah, he's gone. Is he gone? Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. See you later, alligator. quite good in map black. I do like that. Oh! That grass? Yep. <laughs> Time to go in the pits. Does he stop? If he needed to pit stop, then good call. Oh, number three is having a nightmare. He is having a nightmare. Is he going to stop? What's he going to do? Oh, no, he What an absolute buffoon. What an absolute clown. He waited and waited and waited. And I can... The car's coming now. And then he just decides to go. Car number three, you should know so much better. I don't know who you are. I'm not going to look. Unbelievable. Ruined that guy's race just because he was having a bad one. Oh, dear. And here's me thinking all the incidents were done. Oh, 
That's one bent BMW, isn't it? <laughs> so if anybody wants to know how I do this, it's just control numpad 1 and numpad 3 to cycle through the incident. I get asked that question quite a bit, so just control numpad 3 for the next, and if I want to go back to the previous, I press number 1. I think that's us done. It is stuck on one car, but thankfully we are done right. So let's have a look at the results. Okay, okay, let's have a look at the results. So there were two splits. This was top split, strength of field, 2,421. So what did we get? So we gained 31 I racing, happy days, and 0.19 safety rating. So win-win, really happy with that. Uh, so Clement got the win, uh, so we were P5, started P17, car number 4. Fastest lap was a 23-1, so it's quicker than the two guys in front. Um, maybe if we'd have qualified, we could have challenged for the podium, but I think Corey and Clement were, were too quick. And these guys uh, in the Audis, the Audis much stronger anyway. Uh, so, who is the biggest winner? It looks like it's Corey in P2. He gained 83. And the biggest loser is Philip Mayer, car number three. He lost 107. So, there we go, P5. I'll take that first race back on the triples. Um, triples feel really good. I feel much more in control. I know exactly where the track limits are, or it, that's how it seems anyway. First race back on triples. I've realised I've missed them quite a lot. Although the ultra-wide, an absolutely superb compromise if you do more than race on your sim rig. So if you did like it, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, there'll be an icon down here somewhere you can click if you want to subscribe. Straight over there will be my latest video, and up there in the top corner, will be a video that YouTube thinks that you might like. As always, thank you for watching. See you later. Cheers.